Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today, I wanted to go over my spine tester device that I have shown in a couple of my past videos. I've gotten a handful of questions on how I built it, how I put it together and all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to do a quick video on that. So I did is I took a one by four, 28 inches long, and that's what the base is. I also used a one by four for the piece that holds the dial, and that's about 10 inches long. Then you'll need a one inch travel machinist dial indicator. I got this at Harbor Freight for pretty cheap. You'll need two four inch corner brackets. That's what these here on the end are. You'll need two one inch corner brackets. You can't see them at this angle really, but they're here on the back holding the dial. You'll need one screw hook here. This is a number 10 screw hook. Then you'll need a three quarter inch machine screw and hex nut and a couple wood screws. So the first thing I did is I screwed the dial board into my base. I centered it here in the middle of the 28 inch board and you really want your dial hanging about one and a half inches over your base. I then attach the two one inch brackets. These brackets are about seven and a half to eight inches above the base here. You'll use your screw and hex nut to hold the dial to your brackets. Then for your four inch brackets, you'll screw them in pretty much in the center of your base. One thing that I did to help is I went ahead and put my arrow in to give me an idea of where it's gonna sit under the indicator. That way I could get these brackets in the correct location. I also, I don't know if you can tell, but I had to drill a little bit bigger of a hole in the top where the arrow is going to be. You'll probably need about a 3 8 inch depending on your arrow's diameter. Make sure you sand around the edges if you're going to do that because you don't want to tear up your arrows. From the edge of your bracket to the edge of your other bracket should be 28 inches. Next, you'll want to drill a little pilot hole into your scuba weight. This is a two pound scuba weight. So the AMO standard calls for a 1.94 pound or 880 gram weight. So if you wanted to drill a few more holes and weigh this to get exact, you can. But for the purposes of what I'm using the spine tester for, I don't think you really need it to be exact. Next, you'll screw in your hook and then you'll want to go ahead and test it and make sure it works so you'll put your arrow in. You want your arrow centered. Then you'll just add your weight. Then you'll just start spinning your arrow. And you can see as you spin it that your dial is moving to the stiffer, the weaker side. Then once you find your stiffer side, you'll mark it as I show in my videos. And that's where I start for my knock tuning process. I know this video is quick and didn't go into a ton of detail. If you need more information or have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Also, if you're interested in any of my merchandise, go ahead and click the Teespring link in the description below. As always, I appreciate you all watching my videos and see you all next week.